recently people have been having camera issues with their ZT Axon 7 smartphones so I just wanted to address some of those in this video although I'm just representing myself an Android app developer and I guess an avid user of the phone and how I overcame some of the issues and why they happen. Uh, primarily these things have been happening because of shoddy hardware slash software on CTE's end or the optical image stabilization devices side. They, they haven't been very clear to me when, when I've asked for help and maybe to replace the device because I use it a lot and when I, whenever I go out on trips then I, and they, they basically said to send it back to them but then they might charge you for the update and I don't want to lose all my content on the phone and it's not worth it because right now this is this issue has been only coming up very rarely. So I produced a video about the Israeli Air Force graduation and it was in Beersheba in the desert, so it was very hot. The phone was at least at 40, Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius because we were out in the sun, if not more. And so there, like every few seconds, I've been getting the camera fuzzy issues. And you'll see it in some of that video, but I cut out most of the content because it was unusable. So the way I stopped it was I pressed stop on the recorder, essentially. Then I let it cool down for a few minutes and I closed the camera activity and then I reopened it and then you play with the focus and then it usually works for a few more minutes. And that's just one of the ways to fix it. The other way is to go into manu manual and then control the focus yourself and the uh, auto. Because if you control the focus, then it won't need the optical image stabilization as much, and you could potentially even shut it off in the settings. But none of these are surefire ways to make it work, and these are only temporary fixes. Also, because you shoot in horizontally for the most part, which leaves the rear facing camera in an awkward position, although most people use it that way. So if you hold it vertically, then it should fix some of your issues. And it just happens randomly, so there's not much else we could do besides close the app and then open it again and restart taking the video. And since it's not fuzzy, but more like the content's wavy, so there's no real way to fix it in software, but who knows. And lastly, I just wanted to mention, because I'm... This video is kind of more an information than just a ultimate solution. Uh, so I was on Android and Marshmallow with this phone and it was fine then. And uh, one of the customer service agents even alluded to it being an issue with the software, but they still didn't mention any fixes, which means that either they don't know how to fix it or when they tried to fix it, it got worse or they don't know exactly where the bug is or they don't plan on updating our phone software at all, which is not a good thing. So that's the situation at it. I'm gonna consider using a replacement phone, which was my old Asus Zenfone 2. I didn't mention a lot because it was a terrible phone. Maybe I'll do another video on that, but in the meantime, I'll be using that phone for video while I try to get my return for this phone set up. If you are a ZT, uh, customer service agent or no one then please message me or if you have any experience with this I would love to hear more.